founder and editor in chief of BE. We appreciate it. Um, right, let's go back and just explain what we were talking about earlier. So, the Russian Defense Ministry has reported explosions near the Black Sea port, some of these vital ports. What more can we read into this in regards to the escalation that now we're seeing more attacks in the likes of Moscow and these key ports as well? Indeed. I mean, the key word there, you're correct, is escalation. Um, what we're seeing is slowly the war in Ukraine, which has been contained entirely within the borders of Ukraine, slowly spilling out to the surrounding countries. The port of Novorossiysk is extremely important in so much as most of Russia's oil exports used to go from the Gulf of Finland and through the Baltic Sea down to Europe. And the Novorossiysk, the Black Sea route, uh, is Russia's major export route out from the south of the country that then now goes through the Suez Canal or around Africa and delivers to, to Asian markets, which has more or less replaced the European markets um, since the sanctions came in. So to strike at this, um, potentially it could have huge consequences. For example, Kazakhstan, which is a major oil producer and exporter, has to put 80% of its oil out through the port in Novorossiysk. It's the only way the you know otherwise landlocked Kazakhstan can get its, its oil to market. And what Kiev is doing, although they haven't taken responsibility for this attack, um, but there's been a string of attacks which are clearly being instigated by the Ukrainians uh, using their drones and their missiles that they've got from the West. What they're doing here is they're attacking uh, Russian infrastructure, key Russian infrastructure, in order to you know strike back at the Kremlin, which is is, is um, been bombing consistently and, and without pause um, the Ukrainian territory. So we're seeing more and more of these strikes. Um, the Kerch Bridge, which connects Crimea to Russian mainland, was also hit just a few weeks ago, or last week. Uh, and we've seen drone strikes in Moscow just last um, this week, um, where they targeted uh, one of the, uh, the ministry buildings in a very accurate long-range drone strike to the capital. And now they're striking at major infrastructure um, outside of Ukraine, which is going to unsettle the Russians enormously. And it also threatens taking this war up into a much more general war as the fighting goes out over the borders into the lands surrounding Ukraine and starts to involve them. Let's maybe talk more about that, because in regards to potential retaliation, how worried should we be for Ukraine right now, given that, as you say, they've now targeted the heart of Russia's infrastructure? I think um, it just means that, that Putin's not going to give up. I mean, this war is getting nastier and nastier. Um, the Ukrainians have launched their counteroffensive, which is going very slowly. And he, uh, Putin still has the option of doing mass general uh, mobilization and putting half a million million people into the field. And the idea has been, you know, to, to punish Russia, to hit it, you know, with this counteroffensive. And then the Americans are suggesting that it would go to a negotiated peace solution. But, I mean, the, the Ukrainians now striking targets outside of Russia is just going to double Russian resolve. And more importantly, the propaganda effect it has within Russia is it just strengthens the normal people's resolve in order to support this war. And one of the ways of getting out of this was to undermine Putin's support because of the cost to standard of living inside Russia. But now people are increasingly inside Russia prepared to sacrifice standard of living in order to fight this war because they feel themselves under attack by NATO. And so in that sense, you could argue that this is a propaganda mistake by the Ukrainians by hitting Russian targets outside of Ukraine, you know, on the Russian homeland, because one of the only ways to, to, to bring this, well, one of the few options of bringing this war to an end would be to undermine Putin. And actually, this attack is going to strengthen him domestically. Ben Eris, thank you so very much indeed for your expertise and apologies for the tech issue earlier, but um, really fascinating listening to what you had to say there. Founder and editor-in-chief of BE, also the former Moscow Bureau Chief of the Daily Telegraph as well, joining us live from Berlin, say.